Okay guys, many of you guys have asked about this. I've seen it played a lot. This is Flaming Hot Pots, and we are here today at the Windover Nugget in West Windover, Nevada. We're gonna play this game, but we're also gonna go over some of those game rules. A uh, really important thing to note in the game rules that I do wanna show you guys. Let me just pull up these game rules. We're gonna play it on the dollar denom today. Uh, really quick, let me scroll through here. It's gonna be right here in the game rules. The appearance of the pots and fire over time is for presentation only. Meaning that those pots up there, those flames, all of that is just purely for entertainment. It does not indicate if a bonus is getting closer or a bonus is due or anything like that. So that is really important to know. A lot of people look at the pots and stuff on games like this and they think to themselves, oh, well, it's closer to a bonus. No, it's not. It is just for demonstration only. Now, before we get started with this game, uh, just a couple things about it. It is a higher in volatility game, meaning that what we can expect is we can expect a lot of dead spins, we can expect less than our bet back. And if you are going to play a higher in volatility game, especially if you're gonna try to make some money off of it, you need to make sure that you have an adequate bankroll to sustain yourself. Um, that's really important to know if you want to try to be successful at a game like this. Now you can also play it for entertainment, and if you're gonna play it for just the entertainment purpose, just to have a little fun, play it on the one cent denom at a lower bet level. Today, we've got a pretty decent budget. We're gonna work with $800. So I put it on the dollar denom, and these are our bets that are available on the dollar denom. We got a $10 all the way up to $50. $50 is a little too rich for us right now, so we're gonna leave it on $10. So 10 bucks to spend on the dollar denom, Makes for easy math if we get a bonus, so hopefully we can land one of those yummy, upsized, or spicy bonuses. Ten bucks to spend on flaming hot pots. Here we go. Right off the bat. I wish, no, but we did get an expanding wild, which is a cool feature about this game. We got six bucks back for our $10 spin. So again, higher in volatility, that's what you can expect, is less than your bet back. It's also important too, if you are gonna play a higher in volatility game, set yourself a stopping point. Now for us today, I'm gonna to devote all $800 to this game. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna play this game. If we happen to get it down to zero, that's perfectly okay. I have accounted for that already. But if we happen to double our money, if we happen to get up to say 1600 or 1200, something like that, uh, then we will cash out and we will call it a day at that. So far, see, we got a we got a dollar back for a ten dollar bet. We got one dollar back, so that's that's not very good. But that's what you can expect from a higher in volatility game. So that's why it's important not to chase, not to dump a whole bunch of money into games like these. Like, yes, they are very fun, but important to note that. So let's hope for a yummy, upsized, or spicy. That would have been a good time to drop the spicy bonus. And of course our chef there does expand, but we got only got three bucks back for that. All right, $9. So hopefully Flaming Hot Pots can turn around for us and land us a bonus. Bonus, I think we got it. We got it. All right, spicy order. We got the spicy bonus. Let's see how this one goes. Now it is a very big game, so. Okay. Let's get something spicy. Come on, flaming hot pots. And anytime you fill the column, so we filled this column, we get to keep everything in that column. Oh, that's the other bonus. So the pepper adds, and we get, and do we get to keep everything in the column? We do, we get to keep everything in the column. And of course that spicy pepper adds to those others. 
And you see we got our um, letters filled. If you fill all the G-R-A-N and D, if you fill all of those, that's pretty good. That's a lot of peppers. But if you fill all of those, then you get the gram. This is a pretty fun bonus. And one thing that I do like about this bonus that they've done is they've made the bonus last longer. So you're kind of getting more gameplay out of it. All right, come on, fill it in. All right, oh hey, there's a mini. I can't remember what the mini was on this game. Oh, mini's a hundred bucks. Sweet, we'll take that. All right, come on, fill this in right here. Fill that in. Or drop more of those peppers. We just need one on every single uh, every single row here. Oh hey, we got that one filled in. So Hold it's gonna up. add the mini and those other amounts up to our feature prize. All right, come on. And we get the row is clear again. Another pepper. Oh, the miner. Miner's 200 bucks. Okay, flaming hot pots. And that's gonna add to our feature win already. All right, let's go flaming hot pots. Keep filling it in. Come on, save it. How about a big pepper or a major? Major would be cool. All right, pepper saves it. So we just need the G and the A Hold it up. to get the gram. But very, very difficult to do that. So again, don't chase or expect. But if it happens, hey, I'd be happy with that. So far, really good bonus. And it lasts a long time, too. All right, come on. Oh, wow, we did. We are only, we only need the G. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? First time playing the game and I get the grand. All right, Flaming Hot Pots. Hold it up. And we get to keep that middle column right there. So we just need one more right there. One more. Very difficult to get, but hey, we'll keep getting more spins and more peppers. I like that. Adding up to those numbers. All right. Reset to three. Come on, save it. Hey, not Hold bad. And we get to keep everything in that column too. 487 so far, not bad. Let's keep it going, Flaming Hot. Oh, wow, okay. Get another one. They're small numbers, but still over 500 bucks on that bonus. We might be ending this game a little sooner than I thought. All right, come on. Okay, reset to three. Let's keep it going. Pretty good numbers, Flaming Hot Pot. All right, come on, save it. Save the day or fill in that G for the grand. Uh, feature complete, but hey, really good bonus on this game. See what we ended up with. $648, that's really good. Get some music and a little coin shower there. 648 bucks. Not bad. All right. That puts us at $1,279. What did we say at the start of this video? Keep to your stopping point. So I'm going to play down that $79, which is going to be seven more spins or eight if we get something else. Seven more spins and then we're going to call it quits. That right there is how you win at these higher in volatility games. It is difficult to get the bonus on. The line hits are also very difficult. So if you get a big win, take the win and walk away and leave. That's how you truly win at higher volatile games. So we're gonna do, we're gonna spin it down to uh, 1200 bucks and then we're gonna walk out with our profit. Unless we get another one, that'd be pretty cool. Unless it can save the day and we can get something else. 
four more spins. All right, we got three spins remaining on Flaming Hot Pots. Last two. And final spin. Save it. Oh no, you know what? We are going to find that most important button on a slot machine, which is the cash out button. And uh, we put $800 into this game and we are walking away with 1200. Now, again, if I sat here and kept playing this game, we burn through this budget very, very quickly. So if you are gonna play Flaming Hot Pots or any other higher in volatility game, this is what you gotta do. Take your wins, cash it out, leave with it. Hey, you know what? We made a profit, I'm happy with that. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.